Hey guys, Max and Monty 15 and 16 here back again with another Thomas Wooden Railway review. So today I'm gonna be reviewing James, so let's dive in. So before I get started, uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, this James right here, I today just got. So I literally just opened him, uh, the box, uh, hold on, the box is up here, but I'm holding it. But uh, yeah, you can see that I just got this today, and uh, cause yeah. So, uh, if you guys remember that, uh, store that I got Den and Dart and Bell from in one of my previous videos, uh, I got James from the same store, and I also picked up Scruff today, so, um, there will be another updated review on him. So, yeah, I was actually showing you guys the character card. So, this is my first ever character card. Um, I had a couple when I was little, but I lost, but I lost it, so, but I count this as my first official character card. And it's James. So, uh, yeah. I think this is really cool. I like the idea of a character card a lot. Like, you can see the name, the engine on the, with a nice background on some track, and then you can see the Thomas Wooden Railway emblem up on the top corner. So, on the back here, it's going to show um, James's face with uh, the licensing number, as well as a little bio about James and um, a copyright. So, if, you get, if this was Focus, uh, yeah, there we go. It says 2008, so, uh, actually, this James is from 2008, which, uh, so there's some proof for you. And it also says 2008 on the box, but let's read the bio. It says, James likes to think of himself as a really splendid engine. Occasionally, James's grandiose ideas about the sort of work suitable for a noble engine such as himself lands him in trouble. If you want to pause that and read, you can right now. And it also says where this is made, so, uh, Oak Brook, Illinois. <clears throat> so let's get on to the actual models themselves. So I have a model from 1994 here. Now, I got this from a consignment shop where, like, it's you resell toys. And so, oh, I got them. And so basically, like, uh, I never got a tender for this, James. So I've, I've been wanting to get one, but I haven't been able to get one. So yeah, this one's from 1994. No name on the bottom, thin wheels, wooden funnel, and no gold dome, as usual. So, you guys might notice the black paint right here. I actually painted this black a long time ago before I got the Origins James, like, before I even knew it existed. I don't know, this was maybe, like, 2009, 2010, maybe. But, uh, this is a really old James now, and it's one of my favorites in the collection. I really like his face, and, uh, I think his shape is pretty realistic. Simple, but realistic. So, yeah, probably the fav my favorite part about this model is the face in general. It looks exactly like James' Season 1 face. Which I am a pretty big fan of, if you didn't know that. So, uh, that's pretty much for this James. So, let's take a look at this new, uh, well, sort of relatively new, 10-year-old James. So, I'm surprising that this James is 10 years old now, considering it was made in 2008. Which, I just cannot believe that, uh, 2008 was just such a long time ago now. I can't believe it was 10 years ago. I mean, season 12 is 10 years old. But, uh, enough on my nostalgia crack. But, uh, anyway, he's got, like, the, this really shiny dome. It's, like, more shiny than the one on the television. But it looks really nice, as well as these three golden stripes. He's got his cab lining, as well as the splashers are more detailed. I don't know, there's something off about the face. I never really quite liked it that much. It just looked a bit strange for me. Uh, I think that the original nailed the face better. And I really don't think they were able to get James' face good on the Mattel version either. And especially on the wood version, which I'm not even going to cover. Because I don't actually have the uh, normal wood version. All I have is the snowy version. I may do a separate review on that if I'm doing like a wood collection video. Which I might do. Uh, but uh, that's, yeah. I don't want to talk about wood in this video. Because uh, a lot of you guys hate it when I use wood in my videos. So I tend to stray away from it. So, anyway, we have the final model of James here, and this is the 2013 version. I actually got this in 2016, yeah, 2016, as, um, <clears throat> from the Speedy Surprise drop set. But I think he looks pretty nice, to be honest. He's got the really thin lining. He doesn't have as much detail as the, uh, 2008 version right here, but I still like him. He's got a whistle right here on the top, which is also really nice to see. Considering I don't know of another James model that has the whistle detail on the cab. He's also got uh, the two gold strips running all the way over his firebox, which the 2008 version does not have. 
So he's got the handrail here that's straight instead of dipping down like the one on the 2008 version does. Overall, he's got an okay face, but I'm still not a big fan of it. And he looks uh, really similar, and the tender, there's pretty much just no difference here, except that this one has the smoother edges when Mattel did that. So sorry that this review has been running a little long, since uh, I took so long to do the introduction and the character card. But that is pretty much it for this review of James. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Max and Monty 15 and 16, signing out.